All right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform. We're giving a back to back update on how things they be, on how things they share for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Also, remember to like and share this broadcast at the Hot. All right, my wonderful people, the latest one with the buzz brains at the moment. Yes, we say yes, eh, as it is hot right now, UN had been voted to recognize eh, Palestine as an independent nation. Yes, my people, eh, but my people, Biafra next to debate, a new independent nation about to emerge somewhere. My people, it is the time and season for Biafra to come up next. My people, it is a breakthrough that eh, we have been expecting for the longest of times. And trust me, it is something that would happen sooner or later. We're expecting it to happen as soon as possible as uh, the Biafra liberation, as the Biafra struggle and this Biafra nation and everything we've been struggling for is about to come to pass with the uh, Biafra declaration in December. Uh, my people, it is something we should get ready for because it is going to be a hell of a ride. And uh, one thing is sure, it is going to be a big one. It is going to be one of the biggest that we've ever seen and uh, because of that it is it is expected that uh, a whole lot of things would be taking place a whole lot of things would be happening at that same time and uh, it would be necessary for us to understand that everything we've been working for would actually have a full-time evidence there will be evidence you know my people anytime you even with the trending things are happening nowadays if you do if you make all your efforts and then there is no proof of that your effort. It means that you did not do anything. You go explain, tire. Now they are trending. Thing. And that is the same thing with this, our struggle, with everything we've been going for. Uh, we know that Biafra is the next uh, vote that will be taken in the UN, uh, UN debate to be taken as an independent nation, Biafra. I believe it is important that we keep on doing what we were, we are expected to do. It is important that we keep on putting the maximum effort that is expected of us because that is what we would be able to use to actually engage and actually upgrade in everything we've been doing. Because every single thing we do right now involves us actually putting effort, involves all the factions, all the factions of the Biafra movement to do their own part the biafra liberation army BRGIE, simon eban joko as he's doing his own in the international wave everything needs to go well we need to be known even in the state in the islamic state that we have decided to find ourselves in, <laughs> that we need to actually act that's why the biafra liberation army are actually uh, working and uh, doing everything they can to actually make sure people understand that uh, they are aware of everything going on and they are going they are willing to actually put in effort to make things better because if they do not do that if they do not actually make those efforts to make things better then uh, where is the proof that there are people that actually are looking for a freedom if you can watch your own people dying if you can watch your own people suffer and you are not intervening so it means that you people are not even serious and that is why we keep intervening that is why when these uh, attacks happen we end up entering into this uh, entering and uh, intervening in things like this when they mess up around that area we enter that is why we are still not allowing this uh, set of um, people that we call the Fulani headsmen into our place because what they are coming to do is to covert and uh, we cannot be here and watch them covert a place that is not theirs we are going to surely stand firm and uh, be sure to make sure and be sure to make sure that they do not even achieve anything in everything they, they are looking for or they are looking to do because we know that uh, living these people has been hell right from time, from the beginning of time. It's just that uh, at this point it is becoming so um, obvious that people are now getting to understand why the Biafra war even took place. That is the truth of the matter. The Biafra war should have uh, is something that it was a necessity. But quite unfortunately, it ended on the wrong side. But then at this point, to the extent that we've gotten to, we know what we are expected to do and we are going to do, we are going to put in the ultimate effort to make sure that we actually we actually um, succeed in everything that we want to do. We actually put everything we need to do because uh, we cannot be doing everything we've been doing and then we do not have a proof of our, uh, or evidence of to show that ah these people don't they do something since so ah these people don't they do things. That is why the PN keeps holding conferences 
keep holding um hall hall and um, village hall meetings and everything zoom meetings and um, twitter space meetings everything just to make sure that uh, people get to understand the fact that this movement is not in the fight right now we need to keep going further and further into it because of course that is what is expected of us so if there is anything you have in mind or that you think that cannot take place my people it's everything you think that cannot happen can happen the fact that you are even thinking that it cannot happen is what makes it possible to happen and that fact is the truth you cannot dispute the fact that uh, people are ready to do a whole lot their friends in particular are ready to do a whole lot to do to get what we want that the uh, mazenam de Kano is in custody these people thought that we'll be able to step down or to stop us from going someone else came up and took up from where he stopped and is still fighting for our rights and for what we want at this particular point and people are following him and that is what matters he has followers and of course he doesn't have followers because people are looking for it fully he has followers because he has proven to have what we need in our minds to actually look look, look out for what Biafrans Ndibo need for the need Ndibo are looking for and he has looked out for that and he has been going for that and so because of that people have seen him as a real leader PM Maze Simon Epa Njoko he has done the greatest he has been doing and of course he will be respected anytime anytime any day he will be respected no matter what happens he will always be respected because of the fact that he has taken over he is someone that is doing what uh, people are expecting him to do and not standing there and making all talks Maze Simon Eba is someone that goes with anything I say is what I will do if I'm saying that we'll go ahead and make sure that these people suffer for what they've done to us they will indeed suffer if you are going to go against what these people have been doing to Ndi Bokan it means that surely surely we'll go against them if he says he's going to expose the truth about what they've been doing in government my people we have seen him do expose it and let us know that this is what these people have truly been doing so he is a man of his words and that gives hope and trust to him and which is what he has used to gain a whole lot of trust from Ndibo and he will always have that trust so far as he keeps on doing what is expected of him he keeps on pushing for the for the movement of Biafrans I do not think any Biafran in his right senses will look at him and will decide not to follow him till the end because of course he is doing what we want him to do he's doing the expected thing we want him to do he's doing he's going he's doing what a whole lot of us he's coming out you know my people will come out some people will come out and say why is he why is he in Finland he should come back to Nigeria and do it Mazen Nam the Khan was not even anywhere close to Nigeria and they went to find him aligned with some betrayers that were in Kenya and brought him back because he was fighting for what was real and you think that for someone like him now they are not looking for ways to arrest him just because of the fact that he has been doing a whole lot of things that concern the movement the movement the, 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 the movement that is expected of every single one of us of course so of course he is not even supposed to be seen I do not support that Mazi Simon Eba should be seen. He should not be seen. He should not even be brought close to the Nigerian uh, uh, army or anything of that. Or he should even come back to do anything. No. He, should, he doesn't need to do that because the only thing they would want to do is to do the same thing they, done, they did to uh, 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 Mazi Namdekano. Keep him caged without, without, uh, without any real reason why. They kept him there, even without it. All the acquitted this thing of uh, Moses um, Namdekano. They've not released him. What do you now think they'll do to Simon Eba if they get him? And so that is the one of the main reasons why, if people are saying he should come back, he should come back, he should come back. No. It is not possible. He is not going to come back because we know your plans, the plans where what you've been trying to do, the plans of what you've been trying to 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 find him and detain him it is not going to work out and so because of this the main reason the main things that are expected right now as we am talking to you is that he is not going to stop fighting for the rights of Biafrans 
for the right of Biafrans is what we need. The fact that we need our places cornered, the fact that we need a, a referendum, we want to be on our own, avoiding this set of people that are not interested in our progress or interested in anything that concerns us positively, but want to use us, want to use our lucrativeness to, to power up themselves and everything concerning them. No, 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 no. It is not going to happen. And so be, with the resources we have, we are going to get what we want. And we are not going to be stopped by any single person that wants to. So yes, my people, this is it. This is where we've come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.